Welcome back, awesome Action Toy fans and subscribers. It is Monday, the 17th of April, 2023, and I'm looking at these two Hasbro Dungeons & Dragons Honor Among Thieves figures. I've got Simon on the left and the Holgar on the right. These are the two that I wanted the most, and I managed to get them, so I'm quite happy here. Got them here in China. Uh, 112 scale, obviously fantasy. We'll go with my fantasy figures quite nicely, I'm hoping. See how this scale looks. Pretty cool, Simon. With a sort of staff and his helm there. Simon is a half-elf sorcerer and a descendant of the great wizard Elminster was it Uma, but lacks the self-confidence to fully control the wild magic running through his veins and unlock his great potential. Okay, and then we've got Holga. Looks really nice. Holger is a fierce barbarian from the Uthgard Elk tribe with a surprisingly warm heart. Looks pretty cool again. Very, very cool. I am looking forward to these. If you like this sort of content, please consider joining the Patreon. Link in the top right of your screen now. Get to see everything as soon as it's uploaded, plus extra content, exclusive content, etc. And you can cancel it. At, you can cancel at any time. So you can join for just for a month if you want. Okay, I'm gonna pause this, set them up. And I'll be back in a moment. Stay tuned. Okay, here they both are. They both do look really nice, but maybe a couple of small issues, but look at that in a second. Let's have a look at Simon, first of all. Very, very nice looking figure. The face sculpt is pretty damn good. Comes with this nice hat, which has bro pre-packed pre with paper to help maintain its shape, which is pretty cool. See these sort of half elf ears there. Good expression on the hands. Nice that this is removable and the cape is removable as well. Decent paint apps. Yeah, he's nice. I think he's done a decent job on this. I haven't seen the movie yet. I probably might watch it maybe this weekend or sometime soon. Or maybe I'm going to go, I'm going to be flying in like a week and a bit. So I might be watching on the airplane or something like that. But decent looking figure. Then we have Holger. Holger. Uh, face sculpt. I'm not keen on that face sculpt. It looked better on the um, the artwork on the packaging. Looked better, but some nice details. The tattoos look pretty cool. Is that ritual scarring maybe, or an unpainted tattoo on her arm there? Very very nice. The little dagger, which I've got her holding here does actually fit into the scabbard which is really quite cool as well the little scabbard the little sheath is there so it fits in there the axe it actually sh is actually shorter than this when it comes in the box it comes with a small handle here you have to pop the head off then put it back into the long shaft if you want and it also comes with this handle which is on the axe more like a halberd handle so whether she's meant to hold that in the movie, I guess I'll find out. It's a bit thick like that or something. I don't know. But it's still pretty cool. Decent looking figures, I have to say. That face sculpt just seems, I don't know if it's the eyes or something, but it seems a bit off. Something about it seems a bit off. I'm not comparing it to the actress, it's just the look of it. Something doesn't seem quite right. I can't put my finger on it exactly what it, uh, what it is. Um, her feet though just seem to be a bit too small or a bit too loose because if I got it like this she wants to fall over straight away so I push her forwards and she wants to fall over forwards it's like it could be the heel the fact that she's got heels in the shoes make it a bit more difficult I'm not sure but she's not the easiest one to stand up there we go as I said that I moved her feet now she wants to fall over again let's lean her backwards slightly okay so let's look at Simon and his articulation. Take that off, take his uh, wand off. Now I haven't pre-warmed these in water first, so hopefully nothing breaks. Left, right, he has a up, down, and not really a side to side. Arms go all around about an angle because of this sculpting on his clothes. Arms to the side, shoulders to the side, he gets... Eh, He's trying to get 90 on both, just about. It's about 180. Bicep is, yeah, terrible. 
nowhere near 90 on either arm, which is a shame. I don't know if he has trunk, if he has his hidden underneath his cloak here. Um, well, he has got waist, I'm not sure about trunk. He can turn forwards, backwards. Hand, it's gun articulation on his right. So he can come like this, and it's wave on his left, like this. Legs, hips, pretty good to the side, though the sculpting does get in the way a little bit. There's a thigh turn, there is a double kneecap and viscony legs, look at that, nice and tight. Uh, there is a boot turn, which is good. There is a foot swivel, which is good. There is a small tippy toe, and there's a small dorsiflexation, flexation. and it feels like there's tiny ratchets on his shoes, so it's a on his feet, so it's slightly easier to maybe balance him or stand him up than it will be for Holgar. So if we get a Holgar here, let's take off the axe. We we'll keep the knife in the scabbers. That's the way it came in the box. Articulation. Left and right, hair gets in the way, small up and down, not really, mm, tiny side to side. Shoulders, oh, that's so stiff. Sculpting on this um armor gets in the way. So not really all the way up, or around, sorry. To the side, it gets in the way again. Again, she is struggling to get flat. Can't quite do it. Her bicep bend appeared to be slightly better than Simon. Still, there's not 90 degrees, but closer. She has... I don't know what articulation, so this swivel is the... Okay, I can see gun articulation on this hand. And this one... Gun articulation on that, she's double gun articulation. She's got trunk, small movement. She's got waist movement. Hips should be good, but the sculpting on this um, clothing part here gets in the way. Actually, really, a, well, I'll say soft goods, but I had a huge amount of the cost. Uh, forwards, the sculpt, oh, that's super stiff, don't break. Let's try the other side. Forwards, not very far. Backwards, not very far. There's five twist on both legs. That is so stiff on the knees. It's a double kneecap. She gets quite tight. Gonna have to hot water treat the other leg, I think. Uh, feet. Appears to be a tiny turn, mm, maybe not a swivel. Really small tippy toe, really small dorsiflexation. That's also another problem. Feet are tiny, then they give her this limited range of motion. And those feet are just, then once she's hard to stand up. <laughs> okay. That to do the axe is quite difficult at first. To, oh. Yeah, I'm gonna break something in a minute. Probably a sweat. There we go. Whew. Pull it out and then pop it into the small one or vice versa. There we go. But it's a firm, firm fit when it is in. This axe stroke hammer. Right, okay, let's uh, get an idea of their size. This will be in cm since Chinese tape measures don't have Western inches, but metric is easier, I should say. Unless you're American, then what the hell is metric? Is it the same as bananas? Okay, so let me get my tape measure. Height for Holgar, we're looking at just over 15, so just over six inches. And for him, it's around about 14 and a half, 15. So around six inches as well. Uh, let's get a little comparison. Let me put his little helmet on first. <laughs> and get his uh, little staff. Put his hand up like that. Let's get a little semi-action pose going on from there. Not too bad if you hold it for me. But his cloak does add weight to his backwards, which is a slice. There we go. Let's get her... What was that joint one to break on me? No, not quite, but yeah. Let's get her in a semi-pose as well. Oh, this knee! Oh, so stiff. 
she's much harder to hold a pose with this limited articulation or the limit she's got on her, look at that, on her legs, which is a real shame because she's not a bad looking figure. Okay, so let's go for a D and D classic first of all. He is far bigger. And he's a much better figure. I'll uh, stick his review in the top right. I've seen that yet. Yeah, fantastic uh D and D figure by Hasbro. Was it the first one they did? Not from Honor Among Thieves, obviously, but he's a great looking figure. And then I will use a big Marvel Legends Bath Builder figure. You get him in a sort of semi-pose as well, Cor. He is not gonna fit in there. I'll take him out. And let's stick him in there. Look at that. Bing! And now he's really showing his size. And they're looking a bit on the small side. But you can see that the uh, comparison for size is pretty good. You get an idea how these figures do sort of work together. Even if not from the same universes. Stick him back in. Nice figures. Holger. I were, you know, that's the one I really wanted more. But she's not as good as Simon due to those articulation issues with the feet, I would say. And that that face cop looking a bit, something looks a bit off. Okay, so all Smash the Toys signing out saying please like, share, subscribe. Consider joining the Patreon. Link in the video description below along with discount codes for some toy sellers. So you can save yourself some money and get a bargain. Stay happy, keep collecting. Bye-bye.